1950 meters they sent on their way from the 1950 Don Piero, be yourself is right there shortly after the start arrow mark also well positioned as Clara goes around them to be more prominent they are followed further back in the run Walter the Penniless confessionals on the outside of runners that's giving them about six seven in start You're going a good clip up front as Clara takes them along Lark Lomicky is along that inside rail. Then comes Joe Mumbo. The Entos further back in the field at this stage. And then comes Bright Eye Bushy Tail. Further back as before noon. They really stretched out as Clara makes it by three or four lanes. We drop further back in the field there to one of the trailers at this stage is Joe Mambo and Throng. As they go away now, Clara leads it. So Clara has the lead by two. Be yourself a second. Don Piero is in that third position, and then Walter the Penniless, they are followed further back by Arrows Mark and Confessional, then Light Lamaki and Viento. Behind that one is Before Noon, that's giving them a mild nine or ten length start, then comes Banjo on my knee and Joe Mambo, 700 to go, Clara. Don Piero makes the move like last time, is now a next second. Be yourselves in third position, then Walter the Penniless, confessional on the outside, then Arrows Mark as they turn into the home stretch, before noon on the outside as they turn for home, then Bright Eye Bushy Tail, Banjo on my knee between runners. Coming to the 400, be yourself, Arrows Mark, Bright Eye Bushy Tail, Light Lama Key, Banjo on my knee, Viento, confessionals are running, and before noon on the outside, before noon comes strongly on the outside, confessional, Viento, over the last time. Hundred meters though before noon and down the inside Viento but before noon's going on and before noon will win it wins it by about two Viento will get second confessional third banjo on my knee fourth number eight before noon is the winner and before noon is the await the dawn Sean Terry and Lyle Lewitson and they come good and they win it well and number eight pays up at 5.30 second to Viento number 12 pays 3.70 a place then number two confessional and further back was number four banjo on my knee and then came throng bright eye bushy tail arrows mark Don Piero Walter the penniless so as we look at this and you find the winner on the extreme right hand side and that's before noon win number three from the 16 and was rewarded for consistency and another one for Lyle Ewardson. Toad favorite was number six Walter the Penniless which ran unplaced back to the studio. Well, a nice result uh, for trainer Sean Terry this afternoon, a double for his stable, and this time round it's before noon, and a horse that's had a few runs uh, in the province. Of course, I remember him winning at Gravel as well. Uh, has he been staying here with you, uh, Lorenzo? You, you, it's been your duo yard here in KZN? Yeah, no, he's, been, uh, he's been here with us for his last four runs. He came with his first run here, he won uh, when he came from Joburg, and then he's always been there, there, but I'm just glad he's got another winner under the belt. He's an honest fellow. You, you know, he always seems to, you know, be running on at them. Sometimes a bit too late, but today, everything went according to plan. Yeah, he's also the pace was uh, was honest, and uh, like Lyle said, he just uh, slipped in and he just done it under the hands with him today. A good double for the yard today. I'm just have, uh, glad for the stable and just well done to the connections. I'll give our best to Sean as well. Will do. Thank you. Lovely. Let's get uh, Lyle Hewitson in. Of course, a double for him. Firstly, congratulations on the double, Lyle, and it's for your yard as well. Yes, thank you very much. Always, always lovely to, to bring it home for the yard. Uh, horses in fine fettle, um, so just accolades to them. But I'm um, coming back to this race. You know, I, I planned on going forward. Just I didn't want to be stuck behind trying to make it up. But um, I just waited out there, and the, the pace didn't come back. They kept galloping, and I slid into a nice position. And I was always free flowing. You know, and as the pace slowed up. Uh, a little bit into to the home turn when everyone was looking for their run, I uh, just slid around towards the outside and it was such a smooth run. I think that's that's what uh, helped him today. You know, I thought it was competitive for him and a bit tough, but the fact that we had such a lovely run in the race uh, allowed him to to put his best foot forward and he won well. 
I'm glad you touched on that because the way I read his form before, he, he seems to leave too much to do at the business end of the race. That's just the way he's been. I remember that race in Scottsville's big race day as well. Moosey skipped and you were always playing catch up. Yes, um, you're correct. You know, that day, um, once again, we jumped and we went uh, early on and I slid in and I was on the rail and then uh, down the back straight, the pace slowed up and uh, I couldn't get out. I got shuffled back to last. So, you know, I thought I was unlucky that day. And... Um, I knew that uh, that's why today I wanted to go forward, but like I said, the pace didn't come back and uh, I had him in such a good rhythm. Everything just went well and uh, I'm so happy I could bring it home for, for, for such lovely owners. Yeah, Gary and Lynn are here today and uh, this horse, I mean, what's it now? 16 runs, three wins and seven places. He's been consistent for them. Yes, he has, you know. Um, early days, he actually he was running quite well and, and he had a bit of a dip in his form. We gave him a bit of a break and when I wrote his comeback at Turfentine, uh, I finished about seventh or eighth, but I was really upbeat and I said to him, you know what, uh, we need to go in the short running or take him down to Durban and we'll have a horse again. And I'm just glad that it has come together. He's done really nicely and uh, I think at his current rate, he, he could notch up more. Good double. Thank you very much. Just well done to Mr. Terry and the team. Thanks for the support and to Evan Show, congrats. Lovely. Lyle Hudson. Gary, Len, come through. First time I get to meet Len. Met Gary before. God, no, God, God yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. God, I just want to say about this horse and his record. I mean, he's, he seems to be a horse that has paid his way to training, God. He has. Um, before I get into that, I just want to thank Lyle for a fantastic ride. Um, and to Sean, to Lorenzo down here. And then also a special shout out to Karen Eekman. Um, we bought this horse January last year. Um, on, a, on a sale, Sean advised us to buy him and he fractured his leg 10 days later. Mm. So he was out of racing for 10 months. So it's a fantastic training feat by Sean and then also to Karen Eekman um, who did his rehabilitation um, for him to come back and, and win the way he has. Um, and since he's been in Durban, he hasn't been out of the places. It's a great training feat and kudos to her and her re rehabilitation program. It's, it's, it's a story that, you know, Many owners go through patience, perseverance, and I'm, I'm glad that you guys have held on and said, you know, let's give him a chance because he's proving you right, you know, that you made the right decision. Well, it's tough. Uh, when Sean phoned me, he said, I can't believe I'm phoning you to tell you what's just happened. Um, and I said, what do we do? And he said, well, we're in already, so um, let's do the operation and take it from there. So. All the kudos to Sean. Great training feat. God, you're just telling me that when you when you saw him racing today, nominated in the race card, you decided I'm coming down for him. Yeah, I said to Lynn um, two weeks ago he ran a gravel, and the way he ran at level weights with horses that were significantly higher merit rating, I said he can't miss. And I said to Lynn, um, and he races in Lynn's colours. Um, he hasn't been out of the places since he's la he raced in Lynn's colours. I said, come, let's go. So flew down this morning, went to see her mom in Howick and then came up to pick up the winner's check. Must visit the modern law before anything else. <laughs> God? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lynn, come to last word from you. Congratulations, your colors. Thank you, yes. Beautiful colors and a touch of red. Yeah. And there we go. And the winners, we haven't been here for a long time, so it's amazing. Do you enjoy the game as much as God? I do. I do. Committed and yeah. <laughs> and uh, Sean's been kind as well, you know, with the decision making of keeping this horse in training. Sean's amazing. Good friend, good trainer, and Lau, unbelievable. Well, you guys have made a long trip back just for the one runner, so it's proved worthwhile. And uh, enjoy the rest of the afternoon, whatever you plan to do, and uh, safe travels back home. Thank you so much. Thank well you. done, Garth. Well done. Thank you. Thanks. Lovely. Garth and Lynn making it all the way from Gauteng to come to do and watch their horse win uh, this afternoon, number eight, before noon and uh, well done to you sean as well a nice double for your stable 8 12 2 and 4 is the way they cross the line race number six just two more to go up next will be the last leg of the jackpot race seven